Greeting from Global Project Control. Welcome to the date function 2. In this Excel lesson, we want to talk about some other date function in the Excel. Let's to begin. We have the week num, week number. This formula help us to understand what is the week number of the year. For instance, I have two dates over here. 10 of January and 25th of January. If I insert the equal to week num, then I should find that what is the serial. You should select the number. Then return type is. If you want to consider what is the exact start date. For instance, Sunday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, what you want to select. For instance, Sunday, then you enter it. It is the third week of the year for the year of 22. Let me do another try. For the week now, if I open the function arguments the first you should select the serial here i have the serial my serial is my date then my return type could be specified between one to another function as i showed to you on the previous sample for instance i select again one then the formula show me 5. It means that the 25th of January included the 5 weeks of the year of 22. You can check it. Then, the next formula we want to talk about it is ISO week number. It is a little bit same as the previous one, but it is considering the ISO consideration for the week number. I have Wednesday 8 of June 22. I want to know that what is the week of year for 8 of June. So I use equal to ISO week num. Then I should specify the date. Here is the date. It is 20, include 23rd of week of year. Now another sample for ISO week now I should use the ISO week now then for the arguments I should select another date I select this date 25th of January exactly like above but the result is different between these two because it is ISO week number on the January of 22, the 1st of January include one week. That is why we have a differences between these two. The third formula for today is the weekday. By weekday, we can specify what is the day number in the week. I want to know that the 10 of January, what is the weekday number? So I use equal to the week day. Then what is the serial number this day? Then comma. This week, what is your consideration to start this week? First, it means that this week started by Sunday. One. It means that this week started by Monday. 3. This week started by Monday, but through Sunday. So, if I select the first Monday, it is give us the first day of week. But over here, another sample equal to week day. I select this date, it is Tuesday, comma, again I select the Monday. Now it is the second day of week. So Tuesday is the second day of week, Monday is the first day of week. You have another consideration 
if you want to change it, you need to customize it based on your requirement. If you want to consider the Friday, the Saturday, and the Sunday, you can change it based on your requirement. All this information is available for customization. Now, I change it. The next formula is e-date. By using e-date, we can find that what is the exact date for the next day of next month. This formula helps us because length of the months is different. For instance, February includes 28 days, but January includes 31 days. So, the length of month is different. Now, let's do try it. Equal to E date. Open the bracket. You should select the start date. My start date is 8th of June. I selected it. Then, I want to know that what is the 3 month later exact date. I only insert 3, then enter. It is 8th of September. Here is 8th of June. Here is 8th of September. Now, I want to know that what is the exact 8th of February. What is the difference between February and September? It e date equal to. Here is a start date. September to February, we have five months differences. So I insert five. Here is 8th of February. Between these two, I have this minus this. I have 92 days, but between these two, I have 153 days. You don't need to calculate how much date you need to add. It's going to be calculated automatically. By the work days. You can calculate how many days is spent after exact date. And also, you are going to consider the exceptional holidays. How does it work? For instance, I want to check this 10th of January 22. It is equal to work day open the bracket then here is my start date then how many days i want to spend 10 days then if i have any holidays i can add it let me to add these two days as a holiday then enter so here i reach the 26th of january Now, I want to another try equal to work day. Then, what is my start date? Let me to add this start date again. And same as above, I consider it 10 days, but without any holiday. You can keep it blank. Then, my end date is considering 21st of January 22. So the holidays is affected on my first estimation of work days. If I consider 10 days after these two days with considering two holidays, I have 26th of January, but without considering two holidays, I have 24th of January. The next formula is work day INTL. It means that how many days after exact date, but you have two consideration. The first considering the work week, then you can considering the exceptional holiday. What does it mean? For some of countries, Saturday and Sunday is off. For some others, for some others, Friday and Saturday is off. For others, maybe it's different. So 
You can use the exact customization based on your requirement. Let's do perform a sample. Equal to work day INTL. Here is a start date. I use the 10th of January. 10. How many days I want to consider? I want to consider 10 days. Then, what is my work week? I want to consider Saturday and Sunday as a holiday. I change it. Then, what is the holiday? I want to these two days considering as a holiday. Then, enter. Now, I have 26th of January as an end date by considering two days off for holidays and Saturday and Sunday is the regular weekend. Here I have another workday INTL. Here is my start date. Then I want to considering 10 days like above and except of Saturday and Sunday, let me to use Thursday and Friday for off on the weekend. Then, what is the holiday? Here is two days for holiday. Thursday, 13th of January and Tuesday, 18th of January. It will be considered as a holiday. So, I close the bracket and press enter. As you see, with same consideration of the workday, we reach to different end date. What does it mean? It is happened because of the weekend difference between these two cells. For the first one, I consider Saturday and Sunday is off by adding one for the weekend part, but for this part, I consider six for the weekend. It means that Thursday and Friday consider as a off. This is all for today. I hope you enjoy it. We have some further formula. We will discuss it in the next video. Thank you for watching Global Project Control. I hope this lesson is useful for you. Please keep in touch with my LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for further lesson. Also, you can visit my website www.globalprojectcontrol.com in order to find all of my lessons and courses in the same time. Thank you for your subscription at my YouTube channel.